Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with the LCR Formula E League. Yes, we finally return after last week's not quite optimal race, I'll be honest with you. Obviously if you guys missed out on that video, I would highly, highly recommend going back and checking it out. But today we head to Hockenheim and this was probably the race on the calendar that I absolutely wanted to win here. It, I've managed to win it back in 2018 and then 2019 as well. Currently, the streak around this circuit. You know, I wanted to open it up to three years at Hockenheim. But obviously, we'll wait and see as to what does happen in tonight's racing. Obviously, last week, like I said, didn't quite go the way we wanted. So hopefully today, we can try and get back to winning ways. Obviously, it's you know, like I was saying, I sort of wanted to try and go for an undefeated season. Unfortunately, that is now all but over. And obviously, now we're just going to try and wrap up both of the titles, which it was actually going to be mathematically possible to wrap up the constructors here today for myself and Ethan. So we'll wait and see as to what does happen with that one. But coming towards the end, though, on my fastest lap from qualifying, I literally got home about two minutes before this race started there. So I was quite happy, actually, to pick up a 102. Point two there in qualifying and that would somehow be good enough for pole position at the end of the day there my teammate Ethan joins us on the front row of the grid there ahead of Ben Apex Jordan and then VNT Rosenquist rounds out the qualifying order there so like I said yeah really really happy that somehow we were still able to hook up a lap here Hockenheim it's one of those weird tracks especially this short layout that so when I go to it, I don't really think I'll enjoy it. And then actually when I get into some racing, get into some laps, it can actually be quite good fun to race around this circuit, especially in something like the Formula E car as well at the end of the day there. But we're ready on the grid for round five of the championship. Just three races to go of this LCR Formula E series. Ethan joins me on the front row. We're going to be getting ready to go then. I think at the two minute mark, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's actually the 155 this time round, but we do get away nice and quickly from the lights there, respond just a little bit better than Ethan behind us, so it gives us a nice clear run through turn one there, nice and tidy through the first couple of corners here, and now hopefully we can just try and make a bit of a breakaway off the start of this race, obviously we had a good battle with Ethan last week out at Brands Hatch at the start, and then obviously right towards the end of the race, he did get very, very close once again, unfortunately for myself, but yeah, coming down in towards the next couple of corners here trying to get a nice tidy run make sure the tires are up to temperature everything like that they're trying to get the power down as early as possible here as we now head down in towards the sax curve towards the end of lap one here and we built up a little bit of a safety buffer already here unfortunately for Ethan behind us he get caught out in a bit of battle between apex as well there so Rosenquist though moves up into p4 straight away off the start there so LCR Ben and Jork, obviously, we're all in Team LCR together, but we are rivals in this championship. They haven't had the best start there, and that puts Ethan and I in a good stead to wrap up the Constructors' Championship as well at the end of the day. Get the power down nicely through Turn 1 once again there. It's really, really difficult to try and balance the car over those curbs. But coming towards the end, though, of lap 22, we'd really just open up a bit of an advantage and try and stay there, really. In fact, the opening half of this Grand Prix was absolutely everything we needed. Apex would come through just behind us here and would slowly but surely close up and actually take the lead of the race as we head through the pit stop. But after all was said and done, though, through the pit stops, you can see we come back out in P2 of the race. But after Apex would pit just one lap later here, we would be straight back up into the lead of the race there, which is exactly what we needed here. Ethan, he was looking quite close as well to Apex after the pit stop windows as well so we'll wait and see to where he comes out in comparison to that but yeah back up now into the lead of the race here was everything we needed there and as you can see as we head on to the final lap of this Grand Prix there Ethan and Apex are very very close together once again so it looks like once again there's going to be a very very tight battle towards the end of this race and no actually it's Jork sorry my mistake there he's over to P3 who's having a very very close battle with Apex as we head on to the final lap here of the race there. We've got about a two and a half thousand foot advantage at the moment, which is absolutely perfect. Everything we needed from this race as we ride on board for the final lap here. And like I said, coming into this one, this was the race that I absolutely wanted to win here around the Hockenheim ring. You know, like I said, 20, uh, winner in 2018, winner in 2019. It was the only track, if I'm not mistaken, that anyone 
has been undefeated on so far. That was actually on the calendar for season three here. But down in towards the final couple of corners, though, through the sax curve for one final time here. Apex looks like he's just about holding on at the moment. I can confirm if he does hold on to that position, it does mean that Ethan and I wrap up the team's championship as well this week out there. Through the final corner we go, the VNT Rosenquist just in front of us there. But at the final turn, it is going to be the race victory here at the Hockenheim Ring. Three years running there, absolutely what we needed. But more importantly, is Dan going to be able to hold on ahead of Jork just behind us here? This could be absolutely crucial for Ethan and I in the team's championship there. They're not far away from the finish line. Surely we'll find out in just a moment here. It's a shame you can't get on board and spectate with other cars there. But Apex, is he going to come through? Is he going to be able to do it? Yes, he does by two tenths of a second there, which, like I said, now means that myself and Ethan have wrapped up the team's championship there. Back-to-back -back constructors for myself in the LCR Formula E League there, and as well, I think, three now constructors' championships in a row in LCR, obviously, after the Formula Ford season as well there. But Ben comes through for P4. Ethan, unfortunately, comes through in P5. That ahead of Rosenquist means now that we've got a good points margin as we head into the penultimate round of the championship. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Do get yourself subscribed. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys out next time where I'm not too sure where we head. In all honesty, I will have to find out. But yeah, I will see you guys then.